this is the best browser for Windows Vista in 2024, or any year after that, for that matter, because it's currently being developed and supported, whereas every other browser has been discontinued for Windows Vista. It's a fork of Chromium called Supermium, and is available for download on GitHub. As you can see, Pale Moon does not do a great job rendering the page. An up-to-date Chromium-based web browser compatible with Windows Vista 7 and 8.x, with support for Aero Glass, vulnerability patches, a functional sandbox, Google Sync, and more. This bit down here is very interesting to me. Future support for Windows XP, Server 2003, and Windows 2000. Let's install this and see what we get. It appears to be a self-extracting compressed file, and within a minute or two of running it, the browser opens. It's nice to not be bombarded with warnings that the browser is no longer supported on Windows Vista, like what we get with Chrome 49. Out page does tell us that it's Chrome 119. As a test, let's try going back to the GitHub page. That is much better. And it actually loads the asset section, which is something Pale Moon was not able to do. Next test, let's head over to my YouTube channel and see if we can play a video. Technically, the video is playing, but the audio is not great. Now let's take a look at the settings. At first glance, it doesn't have as much stuff as Google Chrome or Edge, but that's okay. What matters to me more is if we can install extensions, like uBlock Origin, for example. Hey, that seemed to work. Let's head over to Retro Systems Revival and see if the ad blocking is working. This is actually a very useful driver pack for Retro Systems. If you have difficulty locating drivers, it's worth trying this out. There are normally ads here. The lack of them indicates that uBlock Origin is working as it should. Hmm. An up-to-date Chromium-based web browser compatible with Windows Vista is exactly what this browser is. This is fantastic. I feel like this deserves to be talked about more.